G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Just a really quick one for you today, guys. I'm looking at a Mazda 2 2007 model 1.5 litre engine manual. Now the problem is that the customer has this reoccurring noise as he's driving along. It almost sounds like a wheel bearing in the rear. So I'd like to determine if it's a tyre on the rear or if it's a wheel bearing on the rear. Big difference in price. So I want to use my new Pico oscilloscope to try and figure out what it is. All I'm going to use for this test is a little vibration sensor that uh, Rod suggested that uh, could be made up and I've used it several times and found it really really useful and as you can see it really doesn't take much to get some sort of reading on the oscilloscope so for wheel bearings and vibration anything like that is super useful this particular tool so let's put it to use. So as you can see I've got my little vibration sensor hooked up onto uh, the back of the wheel bearing assembly or the hub assembly and I'm going to spin up the wheel shortly and we'll have a look at what the oscilloscope is telling us if there's some sort of issue we should see some sort of oscillation there so we'll give him a decent spin there and nah, that looks okay there's no real issue is there all right so I'm happy with that while we're over here we might even have a closer look at the tire itself all right you can see that the tire looks quite okay there's no real issue there there's no strange wear patterns on there maybe a fraction on this side but nothing drastic so I'd say the right hand side is okay at the moment we're just going on a road test I've got my um, vibration sensor hooked up on the right hand rear wheel and as you can see there's certainly whoops we just went over a bump that's how sensitive it is a bit of a sensitive new age vibration sensor um, but it appears to be okay. We'll get uh, higher speed shortly and uh, we'll see what that right hand rear um, wheel slash tyre assembly is like. So you can certainly hear how noisy it is and that's the noise that we're actually chasing. We're around about the 100 k's an hour at the moment and you can see although there's road noise there's certainly nothing that stands out to indicate uh, a frequency that's not acceptable. The frequency we're looking at is about what's that 60 something hertz I believe from what I can see so uh, nothing untoward there and the wave appears to be quite reasonable. So the left hand side has uh, the same sort of connection I'm just on the back of the hub there I'll spin up the wheel now and see what we can see on the oscilloscope. Give her a big spin. <clears throat> Here we go. And uh, ah, pretty boring really isn't it? There's no problem there. So let's have a look at the tyre on the left hand side rear. See what that looks like. Well that's telling us a little more of a different story isn't it? We can see that on the inside here you can see that there's uh, flat spots. We've got feathering happening here. Run your hand one way nice and smooth. Go backwards she's clumpy clumpy clumpy. You can even see where my fingers are catching. So obviously this is, you can even see the dirt, where it's dark here, dirt here, dark, dark, dirt, etc. There's distinct high and low spots. And <laughs> look, even in the inside here, I didn't notice that before, but there's some really bad patches on the inside. That is where his noise is coming from, this left-hand rear tyre. So just using the basic oscilloscope very, very quickly, using a vibration sensor, uh, we can clearly see that the waveform is okay, indicating that there's no strange vibrations there. But clearly we can see that the tyre itself on the left hand rear is the fault. Time to speak to the customer. I've now just hooked up on the left hand side. We're on a dirt road so don't worry about all that noise there. But once we get it up to speed we'll compare with what we had on the right hand side. And just see what sort of frequency and what sort of signal we're going to get. So we've got a frequency there that's uh, changing. I saw it up to 110, whoops. <laughs> Woo there, Nettie. Um, I did see it up to 110 there at one point. Uh, there we go, 112 in the frequency range.
when we get on a flat we'll just do a consistent run and see what sort of uh, signal we're getting but that's certainly more noisy than the previous one that we saw on the right hand side and our frequency is certainly a lot higher than it was before. So we're sitting at about 100 k's an hour now on the left hand wheel and you can see that the frequency is a lot higher and of course there's a lot more noise involved. Um, not sure that I can see a consistent pattern there but I can certainly hear it. I've just changed my time base a little bit to try and get a, a more consistent waveform. <laughs> and another thing too, another hint is the fact that the sound changes as we go over different types of bitumen on the road and you can obviously see that that is related more so to the tyre than the wheel bearing. Yeah, so a lot of the frequency is hovering around about the 100 range, which is quite a bit higher, and we can see sort of a consistent pattern there that indicates that we have a, um, a strange noise that doesn't belong. Of course, our peak-to-peak -peak is a lot higher too. In this case, we're looking at about 490 millivolts, so it's higher than what we had before. Fifteen hertz, and you can see that little those little pockets of uh, vibrations there. They're consistent one after the other. So as a noise goes round and around and around, of course. <laughs> you can hear that noise, can't you? Yeah. Just a quick one guys using the Pico oscilloscope and a homemade vibration sensor to pick up even wheel bearing noise or see if it's a tyre or not. So there you go guys I promised you a quick one an easy way using a Pico oscilloscope to find out if it's a wheel bearing noise or if it's a tyre. Yes I could have visually just went across it and had a look at the tyre and run my hand over it and felt that feathering but this is definitive evidence that the wheel bearings are okay and the left hand rear tyre is at fault. If you did enjoy the video today and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like and feel free to comment down below. Of course, don't forget about that notification bell. You don't want to miss any future videos. So until next time guys, this is Miracle Max signing off. I will catch you later.